G'day everyone, so this is gonna be a short and sweet video about why I changed the stocks on my Christians and Arms 300 PRC. It's in the Ridgeline model. So this is the factory Ridgeline stock, which I touched on in another pros and cons video I did where I really didn't enjoy the stock that much. I felt like it was the biggest downfall of the overall rifle and its system. There's no real bedding in here. Everything's carbon fiber. You've got a carbon fiber inlet for the recoil lug. The only steel in the stock is the aluminium pillars where the action screws go. Other than that, everything's carbon fiber. The good thing about it is it weighs about 800 grams, which is very lightweight with the recoil pad and your yeah, sling studs. But other than that, it's just not a very comfortable ergonomic stock. It's very traditional lines, very thin on the forearm, very rounded, got to reach a lot for the trigger just not a stock I found very comfortable and not a stock I found very accurate either. So I really struggled to get great accuracy in this configuration with this stock. So behind me, I'm gonna pull out the KRG X-Ray, which I've put the barreled action in and show you guys that. So this is the Christians and Arms Ridgeline in 300 PRC in the KRG X-Ray. It's in Seiko green. I matched it up with a QD sling, which is kind of in the same color. I reckon it looks bloody awesome. Also came with, in, within the package of the KRG stock, came with a pick rail attachment there for running bipods and things like that. We've got adjustable comb, adjustable length of pull, a thumb shelf in here. I'll get some close-ups of that, but this is actually really, really comfortable. Like when you're shooting this thing prone, it is super stable. It's aluminium, whole way through the fore end, and where your recoil lug sits against all aluminium. Very, very easy to install the barreled action in. It only took maybe 10, 15 minutes to, to get everything sweet. And best part was when I shoot it, which I'll show you later on, I never had to change my zero. So I wanna keep this brief, but I just wanted to show the difference a new stock could make. So I've gone from that to that. And I can tell you, yes, it's a little bit heavier, but it actually makes it more pleasant to shoot. I think current configuration is about 5.1 kilos with this stock and scope and sling and everything like that, which I feel like is a pretty decent weight. What's that? Like a bit over 10 pounds. A lot of people are going to say that's too heavy, but for shot control and recoil management, having that little bit of extra weight is actually beneficial versus something like this where you just get beat up, especially if you're not running a muzzle brake. So that's it. I'll give you a couple close-up shots of this stock and then we'll jump into some of the shooting. Yeah, so you can see some of the fractures and cracks in the stock there. Like I said, all this is carbon fiber, apart from the aluminum pillars, which is just for your action screws. Otherwise, everything else, carbon fiber, See that crack running down the left end there? Not ideal. Show you guys what I'm doing. Hello, Ram. You're wet. Don't come on the top. Come on, get out of the way. Get out of the way. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, I've got the 300 PRC, the Christians and Ridge line out, and I've put it into a KRG X ray chassis. So, it's probably one of the best value for money options I could find for the weight. So, I've got a target up there at 100 meters, and I'm going to test both lots of factory ammo. So, the 212s and the 225s. Really, Rem? Really? <laughs> I'm trying to talk to the camera here, you know. Oh, I don't want you either, Stan. Come on. I should have put these in the car already. Come on, get out of the way. Get out of the way. And just a disclaimer, the dogs will be going in the car just to save their hearing a little bit while I'm doing this shooting and the car is behind the gun. <laughs> <laughs> I 
So anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna get the camera on the target up there and we're just gonna do a couple of group tests with the ELDMs and the ELDXs and make sure that everything's still shooting well. It should be, but considering this is a different stock, different chassis, I just wanna shoot it and make sure it's all good. Oh, I thought it was going really well there on shots two and three. The first shot I wasn't too worried about because that's going to be settling in, but that third, uh, that fourth shot, sorry, was a little bit out there. But I'll let the barrel cool and try the LDXs. That was the 225 LDMs. That will do. Very, very happy with that. <laughs> Absolutely stoked with that. So I did four shots with the ELDMs and shot number one, wasn't worried about because that's like a settling in shot now with a different stock. Shot number two and three were really good, they were really close. And then shot number four, sprayed back over to the left again. And I remember in the last stock, the ELDMs just never shot as good as the ELDXs for me. So I let the barrel completely cool down and then did a three shot group with the LDXs and yeah, as you've seen, it's coming in under half an inch. So I'm not even gonna, I'm not worried about doing any more shooting. I might go up the back and just find a, a rock or something small to shoot at just that's within my binos because my binos give me a readout. I just want to make sure that they're still working well because I'm probably gonna go for a quick hunt this afternoon. And I've got chunk of dirt at 663 meters it's saying 3.8 3.8 mils so let's see All right, so it was like a fraction low at 663 meters, but I'm not too worried by that. Field conditions, if that had been a deer, it was dead every day of the week. So I'm pretty happy with that. Means everything's sweet. I don't need to make any adjustments or zero adjustments. And that was what I wanted to do and make sure they'll still teed up with the bino. So I'm gonna go have a look for some deer now. is a hind out in the paddock and she's been walking around in the paddock but she's just better down underneath this tree but where she is i can't get the car to and i think rem's chewing on a bone from a deer i shot a while ago but anyway so i think i'm just gonna call it quits 